So this question, we've got to graph y equals 2x, and they gave us some points to use, all right? So um, might look a little confusing. The way I kind of do it is standard ways, make a little table and plug in points. Now you can plug in any x values, they, uh, x values that you want. In this question, they actually want you to plug in zero. They want you to plug in negative two for x and they want you to plug in two for x. And that's why they wrote these points here with the blank spaces for the y values. And so in each case, you figure out what y is. So like when x is zero, you go two times zero, get zero. And so when x is zero, y is zero, right? And so on. Oh, sorry, two times, yeah. So y equals two x. So when x is negative two, y is two times negative two. When x is two, y is two times two. And so we get this, right? So when x is negative two, y is negative four. When x is positive two, y is positive four. And so you have those points there. And then we just graph the points on the grid and then we just draw a line through it. And again, you, everyone, you're welcome to use any grid paper you want. Like it could be like some type of squared paper or, or smaller graphs, I don't really care, but use some type of graph paper, some type of grid paper rather than just blank paper would be great. So, 0, 0, x is 0, y is 0 is right here. And then when x is negative 2, y is a negative 4. So that's our point here. This is a negative 2, negative 4, that point there. When x is positive 2, y is positive 4. This is the point 2, 4. And this, of course, is the point 0, 0. That's the origin. When x is 0, y is 0. So you get three points, and if, if it's a in the form of a linear equation, y equals mx plus b, then the point should be in a straight line like that. So draw a line through it. And that's the line y equals 2x. So for every y is double the x all along this line, right? 